This is Yuka, a bar hostess from Japan who tried to take the soul of her boyfriend a few years ago. She is currently in prison and getting released soon. You may be wondering what she did, and why so many men can't wait to get in contact with her. This is Yuka and Luna, two people who had similar jobs that end up in a wild situation. Luna was a local hostess in the area, and Yuka, a host himself, was also in the area at a different bar. For those unaware of Japanese host and hostess bars, I'll give you the quick rundown. A hostess bar in Japan is a nightclub where all women are staffed. What makes this setup unique is looking at the selection of staff and choosing your favorite one. That is, if you can afford it, and spending time with them for the evening. The same applies for a male host bar. Women show up and pay for a man's attention they want, and get treated like queens for the rest of their time. Yuka, however, would spend her time off work by going to visit Luna. However, Yuka really liked Luna and paid him well for a month straight. To her liking, Luna would also show interest back in Yuka. So far, it seems like everything goes good, right? A lonely hostess finds a host. It seems they understand each other's jobs well, and they partner up. It doesn't play out as nice as it sounds, though. If you've never heard of a yandere before, then don't worry, we're about to get into it. Not all relationships are perfect, not all of them are great, and in Yuka and Luna's relationship, it would only last a few months until they'd move in together. This all sounds okay, until we speak of the evening that Yuka showed up to their new apartment late. It was their third day living together, and Luna arrived home that day three hours late. On this day, he had promised to help Yuka clean their new nest of an apartment. That evening, Luna took a bath to clean up for bed. While doing so, Yuka took his phone and began looking through it. And inside of it, she found photos of Luna tending to other women. This could be for business reasons, or it could have been more than what we were led on to believe by news outlets. But one thing is for sure, Yuka felt betrayed. And while Luna was still cleaning up, Yuka grabbed a kitchen knife and took it to bed with her. After Luna cleaned up, he laid down in bed when to his surprise, he had a knife inserted into his stomach followed by the words, I love you from Yuka. To say Luna was simply just injured would be putting it lightly. Luna was outside of their apartment where he was losing more blood than he should. Yuka, now covered in it, would sit down next to him and light a cigarette for herself and get on her cell phone. If you think Yuka was making a call for help, unfortunately you would be wrong. Instead, she was making calls for conversation while sitting next to Luna. Thankfully, bystanders would see Luna injured outside of the apartment complex, and obviously injured, they would make an emergency call for an ambulance. From a spectator's position, it's times like these I'm thankful for humanity. At the hospital, Luna was told he had a 20% chance of surviving due to his wound. In the meantime, Yuka would be sent to jail. Sadly, Luna told Yuka before the ambulance arrived that he still liked her, even considering the position he was in. However, on the bright side, Luna survived this attack. Yuka, however, became known as a yandere to others. For those who don't know what a yandere is, it's more commonly known in Japanese culture as a sweet girl who turns the total opposite and becomes extremely mean and destructive because of their love interest. Many men, in real life, find this anime portrayal adaptation of characters attractive and have applied it to Yuka in real life, with her now growing a fan base of admirers, which, personally, I feel it's obvious to say that this is an unhealthy attraction. Luna told his fellow hosts that he had worked with while recovering that he couldn't drink due to the damage done to his liver, and in good spirit, they said they would drink for him on his behalf. Luna also accepted a sum of money out of a civil lawsuit from Yuka. Also, currently, he said he holds no grudge against her and in fact is grateful for her helping his sales becoming the highest he had had in months. Again, given the details, it is eerie that a fan base has evolved around Yuka with evidence available in her diary from blood that she wrote in a notebook, such as, I like you, I like you so much. I think the best thing to come from this incident is Luna's survival, in which he now takes the name as Phoenix Luna. Yuka was sentenced in 2019 to three and a half years in prison. She is expected to be released soon. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you with the next one.